Happy Sunday, children. How are you guys doing? It's awesome to see you guys again. You know what? It's good to be in God's presence, right? Wow. How was your week? I hope it was fine. Mine was awesome. I had a very, very great week. And we thank God for everything. Thank God for another beautiful Sunday. And it's another time to learn again in the presence of God. Before we go on and continue with this service, I think it would be a very, very good idea to pray. Yes, to open the service with the name of Jesus. All right, guys, close your eyes. Let us pray. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for another beautiful Sunday. We give you all the glory. Thank you for how last week went. We give you all the praise. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for even our teachers in school and right here in church. We give you all the glory. Take all the praise in Jesus' name. Lord, we are right here in your presence once again. And we know, O oh God, that where two or three are gathered in your name, you are there in their midst. We ask, O oh God, that you send your spirit. Come and be with us. Teach us your word today. Let none of us go the same way we came. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen and amen. Okay, guys. As usual, it is time to give our awesome God the quality praise he deserves. Are you ready for that? We are going to go and give God praise and we come back and hear the word of God. That's fair, right? Okay. You 
Wow, 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 wow. Welcome back from that quality praise. I hope you um, gave your best in dancing and praising God because that is the best you can do for God, you know? You can give God your normal food you usually eat, your pizza, your eba, your fufu. <laughs> God cannot take those things, unfortunately. But God can take your praises because he delights in the praises of his people. That is why we give him quality praise that he, he deserves. All right? Okay, it's about time to hear the... Um, to learn from God again, to hear his word. And uh, please don't take for granted everything or anything you learn from here because it will take you from that point even all through your lifetime. Okay? So remember we are still talking about be a leader, follow Uncle Israel. Is that what we're talking about? Oh, I'm sorry. Be a leader, follow Jesus, yes, be a leader, follow Jesus. That is our, uh, like I always say, our internal role model. And today, the topic, is, the topic is going to be based on compassion and humility. Moses was like Jesus. Compassion and humility. Moses was like Jesus. It's actually a continuation of last week's topic. Remember, Auntie Christine talked about compassion how Jesus showed compassion to people by healing them, by uh, feeding them. You remember, right? Okay, great. This is a, a, a continuation of that topic, but with a different uh, Bible character, which is Moses. When we talk about the man Moses, what comes to your mind? To me, when um, I hear... I hear anything about Moses, the first thing that comes to my mind is leadership. Leadership. You, you know, Moses had to lead thousands of people <laughs> for, for so many years, not even for uh, just a period of time. For so many years, he had to carry them from Egypt. Well, uh, it, it was actually because of the same people that God told him he wasn't going to um, um, get into the promised land, unf unfortunately. But however, ah, we need to give Moses huge credit because <laughs> I've, for one, I, I've tried leading some people. Uh, I, of course, I'm still leading some people. And it's, it, it, <laughs> most of the times, it's not even... Uh, uh, up to uh, one-tenth of the uh, people Moses led. And I know, I know for sure how overwhelming it is to lead people. But Moses here is a man of compassion, first and foremost, and is as well a man of great humility, great humility. Last week we said that compassion is um, seeing things the way others see and feeling the way others feel. When you put yourself in people's shoes, you are compassionate. Now, humility has to do with bringing yourself low. And I don't mean um, 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 putting yourself down for people to insult you. No, there's a, there's a thin line between do, that and and um, humility, okay? Humility has to do with not uh, pl placing yourself higher than other people, okay? When, when you don't place yourself higher than other people, you are humble. D despite your status, f for instance, a, a, a very, very, very wealthy man can be in church today, and then he, if, if the man has the ability to uh, bring himself in the level of other people that are not as worthy as he is, then that person could be referred to as a humble person. And that is the kind of person that Jesus is telling us to model our lives after. Now, Moses, right? Remember um, 
the story behind Moses. He was a Jewish born, but he, he grew up in the house of Pharaoh, a king, right? Uh, he was taken by uh, Pharaoh's sister, Pharaoh's daughter, sorry, Pharaoh's daughter, right? And then he grew up like that. One day, remember, he saw some Egyptians, or an Egyptian rather, beating a Jewish. It was because of his compassion, the compassion that he had. That was why he had to intervene for that Jewish man. Although I'm not saying uh, we should kill anybody that, that tries to uh, disturb <laughs> other people because we want to be compassionate. No, God doesn't support killing. Okay? Thou shalt not kill. It is, it's clear enough. All right? So I'm not saying that. I'm just, I'm just tipping the, the, the compassion of Moses. It was the compassion that made him intervene. Although, it, unfortunately, it ended um, in the um, death of uh, the Egyptian. Okay. So Moses had compassion. That was a characteristic trait that God saw that made him say, Moses is a man that I'm going to use. So when God sees that characteristic trait in you, it enables him to um, um, use you. Of course, God can use anybody. But to put yourself in a better position, to put yourself in a position where you don't have to struggle with God for him to use you, you have to have compassion. You have to have humility. Okay? Now, Moses, let, 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 let's see Numbers chapter 12, verse um, 3, very quickly. I'll read from the New International Version. Numbers chapter 12, verse 3. And it says, Now Moses was a very humble man. See that? Next. More humble than anyone else on the surface of the earth. Wow. So there was none as humble as Moses. Then, all over the world, nobody was as humble as Moses. Tell me why God won't use him. That was why God had to use him to um, um, free the Israelites from bondage. Exactly. Let's narrow this down to our um, um, daily life activity. How humble are you? What can people say about you in your school? What can mommy and daddy say about you? At home, right there. What can people say about you? Even in church. Yeah, of course, church has resumed now. And uh, uh, we, 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 of course, we give credit to those who have been um, um, practicing what they hear in church. Okay? And uh, to those who have not been practicing, we implore you to always practice these things because these words are not just mere words. They are here to build you up and make you better children. And God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, in your school, there are lots of people. There are lots of children from um, um, different classes. Like, okay, by classes, I don't mean primary one, primary two, primary three. I mean, uh, so, some children, they, 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 their parents are very, very wealthy. Some are just moderate, and some are not so wealthy. So you, as a, as a child from a very, very wealthy background, how do you look at other children that are not as uh, um, fortunate as you are in your school? Do you look at them and say, I, I, can't, flow, I can't flow with these ones? Uh, no, 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 they are, not my they, are, they, are, they are not in my class. Let them just go away. Do you, do you do that? If that is you there, then you have to change right away because the Holy Spirit is here now and is speaking to you. If that is you, you have to change. You don't have any excuse right now. You have to change. Okay, you have to model your life as Jesus. 
okay? Jesus would not segregate because re remember how G Jesus uh, fed those uh, 5,000 people with how many? Five loaves of bread and two fishes. He had compassion. And then another thing with Jesus is that he was humble. If he wasn't humble, after teaching them, he would leave and say, ah, everybody to your tent, feed yourselves. I don't care. Bye. And he would go. <laughs> but Jesus didn't do that because he was trying to, as in, he was trying to show us an example so that we all can follow up to today. You, watching me right now, looking at me, are you following Jesus or you are following one boy in your class that is not of a, a good behavior? In fact, don't follow Uncle Israel. Follow Jesus. Don't follow Pastor Sam. Follow, Pastor Sam is following Jesus. Daddy and Mommy, following Jesus. Uncle Israel is following Jesus. You have to follow Jesus. Moses was like Jesus. Moses was like Jesus as well. So you have to follow Jesus. All right, you may be watching me right now, and uh, right deep down in you, you, you know you haven't accepted Christ as Lord and Savior. This is another chance. You have not been doing the things that you know that God would actually like you to do. This is a chance to turn a new leaf. If that is you now, let us quickly say this prayer. I mean it with your heart. Okay? All right. Say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for your word today. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died for me. And I accept your sacrifice on the cross. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Okay, let me quickly pray with you. Father, Lord, I thank you for your children. Thank you for everyone listening to me right now who have, uh, who have accepted you as Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, I pray that you come into their hearts and dwell in their midst. Help them, oh God. Teach them to be, be good children. Teach them, oh God, to be humble and compassionate in every area of their lives. In the name of Jesus. Let your spirit, O oh God, sort through their system right now and help them. Even to every um, child, the, the ones that didn't even say the prayer, Lord Jesus, let your power rest upon them in the name of Jesus. This new week, O oh God, let your presence go with every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because we know that testimonies will abound in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay, it's time to take our memory verse. Yes, our memory verse remains the same, and it's from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 1, and it says, Therefore, be imitators of God as their children. Oh, you can memorize it now. Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 1, and it says, Therefore, be imitators of God as their children. What an awesome time we had right here in God's presence. Uh, till we meet again, we say, stay blessed and have a beautiful week. Bye. What would I do without you here in my life? What would I do without you here in my life? And what would I be without you here in my life? I know the truth and it has set me free. What would I do without you here in my life? What would I do without you here in my life? And what would I be without you here in my life? I know the truth and it has set me free. I would take this chance and give my all. I would take the cross and follow you. I will never walk away. I will run the race until the end. I will shout your fame until the end. I will never walk away. What would I do without 
do without you here in my life? What would I do without you here in my life? And what would I be without you here in my life? I know the truth and it has set me free. I would take this chance and give my all. I would take the cross and follow you. I will never walk away. I will run the race until the end. I will shout your fame until the end. I will never walk away. I would take this chance and give my all. I would take the cross and follow you. I will never walk away. I will run the race until the end. I will shout your fame until the end. I will never walk away. I would take this chance and give my all. I would take the cross and follow you. I will never walk away. I will run the race until the end. I will shout your fame until the end. I will never walk away. I would take this chance and give my all. I would take the cross and follow you I will never walk away I will run the race until the end I will shout your fame until the end I will never walk away from you I will never walk away